Welcome to this week's assembly. This is actually our 25th virtual assembly. We'll now say the acknowledgement to country together. We acknowledge the traditional owners and caretakers of this land on which we are gathered and pay our respect to their elders, both past, present and future. Thank you to Isabella from 4R for this beautiful Mary McKillop prayer that she created at home. Never see a need. Dear St Mary McKillop, you said never see a need without doing something about it. I think that means if you see someone in need, not to just walk past them, but to do the right thing and to help them. Sometimes I don't do that. Mary, would you ask God to help me be more kind and loving to my friends and my family? Now, welcome everyone. It's not great that we're all at home again, but it's what we have to do to keep safe. So we'll do our best. We went through 14 days of quarantine. Lockdowns are nothing. We can, we can do our lockdown. We can get through and keep our communities safe. So well done everyone for all of your hard work so far. With the Flexible Learning Awards this time, I've made some new awards and I've used some of the designs that you had shared with me earlier in the year. So on the awards we've used a lovely design from Rosie G in 5J, so that's that design. And another one from Cleo D in 4M, so thanks Cleo for your 2021 design. And we've got one from Isabella L in 4R. There's another one. Thanks, Isabella. And another great design from Isabella L in 5S. So they're the designs that I've chosen for our Flexible Learning Awards. And we'll continue to make new awards during the course of the year with some of those other wonderful designs that you have designed yourself for 2021. So thank you everyone. Okay, we are back to our virtual assemblies and these are the Flexible Learning Awards for this week. Congratulations to the following people. From Prep A, Molly, for a positive attitude during quarantine and with flexible learning. Prep HB, Sophia, where you join in all the Zoom sessions and do your schoolwork at home. Keep up the fantastic effort. Evie B in 1K, fantastic flexible learning effort. Well done. Bella C in 1FT, and this is from Miss Trot, for your family home videos during home learning, demonstrating excellent gymnastic skills and even getting mum involved. Well done to you and your sisters. In 1FT, congratulations to Charlie W for being enthusiastically engaged in Zooms and consistently working hard to complete all learning tasks at home. Keep up the super effort, Charlie. In one Y, congratulations to Chloe N. Fantastic flexible learning at home. So in one Y, congratulations to Billy C for another fantastic effort with all of your home learning, Billy. In 2VK, congratulations to Leo F for always contributing interesting responses during Zoom sessions and for putting your best effort into all your learning tasks. Well done, Leo. In 2MS, congratulations to Jack B for being engaged during whole class Zoom sessions. In 3D, congratulations Madison C for also joining in with those family home videos and this award's from Miss Trot and just demonstrating your excellent gymnastics skills. Congratulations Madison. 
In 3D, congratulations to Nathan T for putting in a huge effort and extending yourself during home learning. In 3LO, congratulations to Cecilia A for writing a beautiful prayer of thanks and presenting it in a slideshow. Well done, Cecilia. In 4M, congratulations to Lily B for always sharing her interesting insights along with her work during online learning. Keep up the enthusiasm, Lily. Congratulations to Cooper S for his excellent persuasive text to the IOC will include parkour as an Olympic sport. Well done, Cooper. In 5J, congratulations to Scarlett C. So that's the third member of the family who have been demonstrating excellent gymnastic skills. And that's on a PE award from Miss Trot. Well done, Scarlett. In 5S, congratulations to Matilda C for her outstanding efforts in all areas of learning during remote learning. Keep it up, Matilda. You're making your teacher proud. In 5J, congratulations to Darcy for consistently and thoroughly completing her flexible learning. Fantastic work. 6L, congratulations to Max C for the consistent effort to complete his work well in the classroom and online and the positivity he brings to our class. Well done. In 6L, congratulations to Max C for the consistent effort that you put into your work in the class and online and the positivity you bring to the class as well. Well done. In 6L, congratulations to Harry C for the great effort working online all term so far and the joy and energy you bring into 6L. Well done. So this award goes to Juliet in 6G for fantastic flexible learning at home as well. Well done, Juliet. And congratulations to all of our award winners for this week. And I know everyone's been making a great effort with their home learning. So keep up the great work and there'll be more awards to give out next week. We will post these little flexible learning awards and hopefully you'll get them in the next few days. Okay, it's that time again for birthdays and so many of us have had to celebrate quarantine birthdays or lockdown birthdays. We had lockdown birthdays last year and they're happening again this year. Well, one day we'll all be able to get together with our family and friends and celebrate our birthdays in style. So these are some of the birthdays that have happened this week and I'm going to share some of the birthdays that are coming up for next week as well. Again, what I'll do with these cards is that we will pop them in the post to you. So hopefully you'll get them in the next few days. So, first of all, on the 9th of August, happy birthday to Nanika in Prep A. Congratulations, Nanika. On the 10th, we had Sienna in 2VK. On the 11th of August, Philly from 1Y. Happy birthday, Philly. On the 12th of August, Peter from 2VK. Congratulations, Peter. On the 13th of August, happy birthday to Tate from 1Y. On the 15th of August, happy birthday to Riley from 4M and Tessa from 2MS and Sam from 2MS as well. Happy birthday to you three all on the same day. On the 17th of August, happy birthday to Myra from 6G. On the 21st of August, happy birthday to Victoria from 2VK. On the 22nd of August, happy birthday to Jack from 4M. And on the 22nd of August as well, we've got Miles from 2VK. So happy birthday to all of you. I hope you get to do something special at home with your family and friends. And we look forward to you.
being able to wear casual clothes when you come back to school very soon. Okay, I have got our new house boxes here and I just want to show them to you. And I'm also going to invite Mrs. Hills to come in and do the house draw for this week. So I'm just going to put my mask on because we've got to make sure that we can social distance together. So welcome Mrs. Hills. Thank you. I'm going to stand over here. All right. Hello everybody. Do you want to show us these amazing new house boxes that Mr. Aren't they fantastic? Can we see them on the screen? Might have to lift them up. Oh, do we? Yeah. All right. So each house has its own letterbox that Lawrence kindly painted for us. Mm. And now they'll sit in the front office and the tickets will go in the front and we can draw from the back one lucky person who's done a great job at school. All right. So we've got Revere as well. Look at these. Lawrence has done an amazing job, hasn't he, Mrs. Hills? They look fantastic. So good. All right, so let's draw them up this week. All right, so we start with Bainbridge and open that up. Open that up. Okay, All right, it's not looking. The Bainbridge winner is Zach B from 4M. Congratulations. And you are open and honest. Well done, Zach. Congratulations. All right, well done, Zach. Oops, and now we'll look and see who. From this is the We've got Bella Christie from 1FT. And that's for respecting and valuing each other. Well done, Bella. And you got that in your music lesson. So that's exciting. Great. Right. Well done. We've got Rivera. Okay. Whoops. The Rivera winner is... Kelly from Prep A, who also respects and values other people. Well done, Kelly. Congratulations. Right. And the lucky last. Oh, there's lots in this one. This one is for Mason in 1FT. They've had a good day for respecting and valuing each other. Well done, Mason. Congratulations. Great, thank you. Here we go. Yes. Fantastic. And we're going to talk to the teachers about continuing to give out some house points during flexible learning. Great. So that idea. we can draw them again next week and I'll let you know what the special prizes will be. Fantastic. All right, see you all. Hills. Hey guys. Hey guys, how are you going? My name's Cassie and I'm the new 2IC here at St. Patrick's. So when you guys get back to school, we've got three clubs we're running this term. We've got Queen Club, Art Attack and Jugger Warriors. They're gonna be lots of fun. We're gonna be having heaps of fun here at Team Kids. I'm so excited to meet you all and get to know you better. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Whoops, <laughs> seeing that we're still in lockdown, we're still doing these assemblies. There was something fun that I did last year and I wonder if it still works this year. I managed to do some transforming and transformed into lots of different characters. And there was a teacher who loved doing the transforming with me. So I'm going to invite Mrs. Oliver. I better put my mask on. Come on, Mrs. Oliver. Hi everyone, can't wait to be doing some transforming. <laughs> Do you think it might work in 2021? Yes, I think it will. And I remember that I think we counted to 10 and turned around once. Okay, did we go clockwise or anti-clockwise? I think we went anti-clockwise. Okay, let's give it a try. Can everyone help us count with us? One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa. Here we are. Oh my gosh! How did we get out of here, Mrs. Oliver? Out in the garden of 
transformed into another space. We have. How magical. That's a what? That's amazing. I'm so glad we didn't lose our power. Absolutely. It's lasted, it's lasted all through all those lockdowns and it's lasted through a quarantine and another lockdown. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. What have we got here? Well, we'd like to just let you know that this year, again, we are going to have a special day. It's called Daffodil Day. And remember last year that we celebrated it? Well, we're going to celebrate it again on August the 27th. Daffodil Day. So just for your part, Daffodil Day celebrates the people that have cancer, who have um, survived cancer, or may have passed away from cancer. So cancer touched as many people's lives. So St. Patrick's would like to celebrate and support those families um, through Daffodil Day. That's right, Mrs. Oliver. And you know what they can do? The children can make their own spoons, just like they did last year. And when they're going for a walk outside in the sunshine, they can come and drop them off and put them in our garden. That must be why we're here. Here's the garden. And here's Look our beautiful spoonful garden. So we'd love you to be really creative this year. Make a very special spoon to place in our garden. It's empty. We need some of your creativity. Exactly. We've got a lovely yellow umbrella here, haven't we? Look at this. So on the 27th of August, you will be able to wear yellow when you come to school as well. And hopefully we'll be back on site, which will be fantastic. And you can read all about this in the Shamrock, in the newsletter. Okay, fantastic. And there'll be donations that can go online this year because of COVID we can't actually bring in the gold coin donations so we'll let you know more about that so that's amazing isn't it Mrs Oliver? Oh it is I'm so excited so excited Fantastic. to celebrate Daffodil Day and think of all the people that we love who might need our support during this time exactly well you have a lovely weekend and we're going to look forward to watching our garden of hope grow okay see you later everyone bye, bye.